What's going on guys? Sir Wayne here bringing you guys a third installment of the beginner's guide and this should be the very last one but this one's going to be over planes and what I'll talk about is the very basic of planes and then I'll start moving into a little bit more of the advanced stuff and I'll try to make it as short as possible but uh, you know I'm not going to go super super in depth in two airplanes I don't believe but I will go over the basics okay so here we have a stack of planes. I'm not going to talk about stacks and the ratios because, you know, the max ratio is 10 per 10 without losing efficiency. So so it's just sitting here on the ground laying there. All right. So that's what you and it's got an airfield. So you see the plane. OK, so if it's not connected to an airfield, it will turn into a cargo. A cargo deal like that. You do not want that. OK, that is a bad deal. You always want it in that form. Okay, second, you have patrol. It's going to look like this. And when you're patrolling, it will do 25% of its max damage over its cycle, and it does not have to fuel up. So this is a good thing, and this is ideal for attacking other things. Notice that it says 15 minutes versus an hour, and you don't have to, versus like, you know, when it hits something, attack something, you will have to refuel. But if, you, if you're patrolling, it's only 15 minutes. Even though you're only doing 25% damage, you don't have to go back and refuel, which will take more time to refuel. Plus, you know, it has its other advantages that maybe somebody will try to hit you while your planes are down. Um, another tip, uh, notice that, you know, you have two circles here while you're patrolling. This is the range of your stack. Notice the inner one right there is actually my fighter and is the shorter range. So if I click, and this this other one's my longer one, so if I click right here, it won't let me do it. Okay, so it's trying to divert me to another place. If I, if I click within, it'll let me do it. Okay, also notice that, see this little line here? See that, that line, that highlight, that like, you know the red thing right there that is the 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 area that i can go before i have to go back and touch down on the airport and redo it again so like if i if i pick anyone here it'll just go there it'll just go there it'll just go there but if i come over here even though i'm in range i'll have to go back to the airport and refuel or not refuel touch it touch down it doesn't refuel it just touches down and goes about its business right the other thing is attack, of course. So you'd find something and you go, I want to attack that. So I'm just going to click it. Of course, I'm not in range. I don't have an airport to get to it. So it's not going to do that. So you make sure you have an airport that's in range. Okay. And uh, I would recommend doing patrolling over attacking. But, uh, you know, be very wary of your patrols. People like to stick planes in there. Uh, but that's that's pretty much over the, the basic uh, notice that there's a timer. It says approaching pro a patrol, 30 seconds, 20 seconds, whatever it is. You know, be, be, be very, very aware of that. And then when you get to where you're going, it will, it will say, it will give you a time in which will be 15 minutes, right? Okay, when that patrol is over, you do 25% damage. Now, whatever is underneath you, you will deal damage to it, and it will deal damage back to you vi um, anti-air right of course this is my own troop so it won't matter uh you can so just take that in consideration so if you hover over an anti-air you know enemy anti-air don't don't freak out and go oh i gotta pull back real quick no you don't you still got 15 minutes you can pull back when you're ready just you know get a good look at their stuff you know uh it's also like i said it's a good way to uh I get a good look at people's stuff. Uh, interceptors with your attacks or anything. Interceptors are useful in the, against air, fighting air, uh, but they also are a uh, scouting unit. So, like for instance, if somebody has a commando unit or something and they're going through your territory and taking your stuff, you won't see them. So you'll just have to go. You can, but you can scroll over them with this stack because it has interceptors in it and kill them. Because you'll be able to see them with the interceptors. So, and it's it's very annoying. So, make sure you have yourself some kind of scout unit, armored car or something to see it and uh, deal with it somehow. 
Um, um, let's see here. What else? I wouldn't recommend fighting air versus air because you're doing damage versus damage. Uh, you know, you're, you're giving them damage and then you're trading it for their damage. And it's just not really an effective way to go about it. If you're going to do that, I would recommend attacking them and making sure you, and when I mean attacking, I don't mean attack versus patrol. I just mean you want to attack them versus you just taking the hits. Cause if you see here, um, let's go, let's go to fighters. See here, you got 10 attack versus five defense. So you're obviously better off to attack than you are to defend. So take that in consideration. But I would recommend destroying the airfields that these planes are underneath instead of fighting them. Find other ways to deal with the air versus, you know, uh, fighting them head on. Because when it's all said and done, you um, uh, every time that I've ever done it, it's air superiority who wins the map, not... Uh, anything else. Hoover, Hoover's got air superiority wins, you know, in the end, you know, Hoover does the must blows and, and such. Uh, I've never seen anybody lose having a huge air force and, and it's still intact. So they eventually got destroyed or something. Uh, but anyway, all right, so now let's move on to uh, a little bit more advanced of air. Um, uh, like, you know, the, the, the big thing about air, I was kind of already in the big thing about air, but uh, to me, especially, you know, in 22 maps, it's not that big of a deal as far as like, you know, you taking damage uh, with your air. But like in 100s, like I really conserve my air because you damage your air over time. And then uh, as you go through the map and it gets later and later and later games and you fought this guy and this guy and this coalition and this coalition and it, it just goes down towards to where you're in basically in the finals against one other coalition or whatever, and you get down to the nitty gritty and you don't have the planes anymore because they're out of two damage to fight or they were destroyed in previous wars. So, and like I said, they are like essential, like they can really turn the tide. They can really, if you're, you know, if you're being like outflanked, for example, let's say, let's say, um, you know, here's my flank here, my left flank. And then here's like, let's say this is my center flank and somebody was coming through here on my on my uh, southern flank. I could simply send these planes over here to take care of them even instead of them crushing through my lines and, and doing damage to my cities and stopping me from doing things. I could stop them these easily with my planes and fast, very, very fast. So um, if I see a big stack that has a lot of artillery doesn't have no anti-air or doesn't have much anti-air, I can punish them. And be aware of stacks, you know, that have anti-air, you know, be aware. And now this is pretty, this is a 22 and this is relatively early game, but, you know, that's 33 against air. So, you know, be aware of that, you know, be aware of that in your stacks when you decide to hover over stuff. And uh, it's not that big of a deal, like if they're level one, anti-air or whatnot or if they're just an anti-air sitting by themselves it really depends on like how far you are into the game you know because you want to verse you know how strong is my air versus how strong is their anti-air how strong is their stack uh you want to take into consideration how 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 much you know how much is there look at the hell 380 that's not a whole lot but it's pretty good it's really good early game um but you want to take into consideration how big the meat shield is as well you know if somebody hovered over this with a five stack of tax and that would that would crumble them you know at, at lower levels okay don't i'm not saying maxed out tax would go over that and die it, it's not you know they would the tax would win but i'm just saying um you know weigh weigh it use your use your my my biggest advice in doing planes and handling planes is handle them with care use them very wisely and unless you're going to just, it's going to really change the war dramatically with one strike. I really wouldn't use it a lot of times. Just use it very, very, very seldom, very wisely. And then uh, if you fight anti-air, take out their airfields versus using your air to kill their air because you don't want to be swapping and trading off units. It's just not the way to go. So this should be my last installment 
of the beginner's guide. This should be basically it. I can't think of anything else that goes with planes. Uh, it's it's fairly simple uh, when you're talking about planes. You got your fighters. That's for air, and you still want them. So regardless, just in case, and you got tactical bombers, who is for infantry. As you can see, if you scroll down there for killing infantry. And then you got attack bombers who are used for killing armored vehicles, as you can see. And then strategic bombers are for killing airfields. I do recommend these. You can use rockets to do instead, or you can use other units like paratroopers. Uh, these are naval bombers uh, for ships, of course. And then uh, infantry would be the paratroopers right here. And they would, you know, you just skydive into somebody's uh, uh, airstrip. But anyway, that that's it's whatever you prefer. It's a strategy game. Figure out your own way of doing things and how you like to do things and, you know, what doctrine you want to use and whatnot. And, and that'll be it, guys. Thank you so much. Like, comment, and subscribe.